Hi everyone and welcome to the energy update from August 22nd through to 29th 2022. My name is Heike Bartels, I am an energy intuitive and I would like to share with you what my guides told me for that week. So the first topic is leadership energy and this energy is actually um, activating our crown chakra and it's especially um, intense from August 22nd through to 25th and it makes us courageous, bold, passionate, noble and honorable. So yeah, it's leadership energy <laughs> and we can use this energy to connect with our heart, to live our truth and compassion and of course the wisdom that's found there. Also forgiveness is a big um, a big topic in what we can use it for and this means forgiveness not only um, of others but also of ourselves because normally maybe you also experience that forgiving yourself is so much harder than forgiving others isn't it <laughs> so i think sometimes that can be really challenging so the third one that you could use this energy for is to connect with your crown chakra to activate your life force energy and of course um, if your crown chakra is in balance it is the it is your connection with the divine then you are well connected so your intuition is just flowing and working so well and the other thing is that if your crown chakra is in balance and it is activated, it really gives you this strong feeling of connection. Um, this knowledge that you are part of something bigger than yourself. Um, something that's just m so much more important than yourself, actually. So, of course, it's also a great time for treatments to cleanse your chakras and especially your crown chakra because we know that if the crown chakra is in balance all the other energy centers in our body are just so much more in balance yeah then everything's working well overall because it's our life force so this leadership energy is really really um, intense and yeah if there is something where you need to speak your truth for example where you want to know the truth um, and follow your truth follow your heart that's what it's about that's true leadership following your heart and um, thinking of what's best for all the second topic is conquer your fears and that's together with the new moon in Virgo that we have on August 27th and it is this intense mass energy that we have which helps us to connect with our passions and conquer our fears. So it's about growing out of your comfort zone and maybe also about a leap of faith. Important with Mars energy is always to remember or to be mindful and careful to not act impulsively or allowing our temper to get the better of us because um, it's really it's a good energy to to move and to get things forward but be mindful be careful be cautious um, yes with spon spontaneity so really um, follow your intuition but make sure that you are guided in a loving way not in in an impulsive way that's what I wanted to say yeah <laughs> or what I'm getting to be um, to be precise um, it's all about trusting yourself finding your independence and also about treating yourself well um, with intuition, confidence uh, and self-care. Um, those three are key 
to maintain and always find our inner center. And that's, of course, something that's really so important in this time. We need to be in balance to, um, yeah, to move ahead in a reasonable way. So what's the message from the masters? They would like to inspire us to review the change over the last seven months, because that's now um, since when Uranus has been retrograde. So that's always a, over a period of seven months. And it's very interesting to find out what changes have been occurring in these seven months. So maybe you want to check your diary or your agenda and um, think about what changed for you on a personal level but also on a professional level and then what caused these changes because the question is are you living from the inside out or from the outside in and we know that in the future living from the inside out is what we need to do to go within and uh, because everything is to be found there and then it will manifest in the outside. If we're trying to, um, to trust the outside, the outside is going to crumble down. So the outside is always changing. What is not changing is our connection with the divine and that's inside and that's where all the answers lie. Okay, so if you want to use an affirmation for that, you can, for example, use this one i find every answer within myself and it is now revealed to me you know it's just a short phrase in present tense and just adjust it to whatever your needs are but make sure that um, you feel stable within yourself yes you can just be um smashed out of it by a sudden um well, what is it? Outside information, but to know that this is where your stability is and that you can always go back to that. So thank you very much for your time and your energy. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking, sharing and commenting. And if you like to listen to the little message from my guides, which come um, during the week, just go to my Instagram at Heike Dance and there you can listen to these one and a half, two minute videos. Thank you so much. I hope this was helpful and have a beautiful week.